Hey guys, how are you? Uh, my name is Abdullah. This is Mr. Muhammad. And today we're gonna. I still have to wear you the still microphone. Ha still have to put the mic on. All right. Okay. So we're waiting to introduce ourselves again, basically. Yes. Seventy-five years later. Muhammad has a bit of a catch, so uh, it's difficult getting the mic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> haram. I'm joking. I'm joking. All right, guys. So today, uh, let, let me introduce ourselves again, or introduce me and Mr. Muhammad again. My name is uh, Mr. Abdullah. This is Mr. Muhammad. Uh, today, we're just going to do a little conversation, basically. Uh, I think Muhammad is going to be asking me, and I'll be answering the questions. Yes. Correct? Or do you want to do it vice versa? What do you prefer? Or we both أترجم. can do it. We both can do it. Okay. Let me put my phone on silent. Okay. Completely. أول إشي, أول إشي لازم نرفع الكاميرا شوي. Yeah. As you can see, we're not that well prepared. <laughs> Alright, so um, what we'll do is... Uh, <laughs> it's my first time recording, so that's why. Imagine every time I have to do this. It's quite a task. Yeah. Uh, they are hard getting up, by the way. Alright, let's start. <coughs> Well, I'll ask you. استنى أول إشي أول إشي أول إشي هو رحب فيك وقالك أهلا وأهلا سهل فيك وحكى إنه هو اسمه عبد الله أنا اسمي محمد وإحنا من سوا هدول هيك رح نعمل سلسلة كبيرة كنوع من ال يعني إشي تعليمي للإنجليزي. So basically, it'll be educational uh, for English. I speak both Arabic and English, but Mr. Muhammad will be speaking in Arabic. I'll be speaking in English. Um, I assume I'll be asking myself the questions, correct? And then that way you can translate yes. for our audience, whoever they may be. Yeah, you can okay. ask me, come on. Okay, let's start with you then, in that case. Okay. All right. What was the highlight of your week? The highlight of my week? You mean the best thing? The best part of your week, yes. Uh, بسألني عن أحسن إشي في الأسبوع تبعي إيش كان؟ I think it was uh, launching my website. Launching your website. For me, it was getting back to work. Um, of course, as teachers, we do enjoy summer break, but of course, you know, if you don't have anything to do for too long of a period of time, um, you do get bored. So believe it or not, I'm kind of glad summer break is over, even though I do have mixed feelings about it. حلو. Yeah. خليني أحكي لكم شو حكى. أنا حكيت له إنه أحسن جزء في الأسبوع تبعي كان لما أطلقت الويب سايت، عملت ويب سايت أطلقته، رح أحكي لكم عنه كمان. وهو أحسن فترة يعني أحسن إشي بالأسبوع تبعه كانت إنه رجع على شغله بعد العطلة. لأنه إحنا بنشتغل مدرسين. Yeah. فإذا بنقعد وقت طويل بنزهق. Exactly, we both work as English mm. teachers and I work as a history teacher also. Me too. All right. Oh, for real? Wallah. All right, this year awesome. I'm teaching the American history. I'm teaching two grades history. Yeah, me yeah. too. 11, nice, nice. 11th and 12th. No, me 6th and 7th. That's cool. Yeah, other than English. Mm -hmm. All right. So, all right, Mr. Muhammad, what was your first job and did you like it? My first job ever was working in a communication company. Communication company. Can you give me a bit of details about it? Or yeah, it was uh, the third company in Jordan. I don't want to mention the name. And my job was to uh, do something called the insertion. We insert the card into a special place where uh, there's a machine mm -hmm. which reads the information. All right, that's cool. Sounds like it fun. wasn't. It wasn't cool. It was pretty standard. Uh, we used to go to a place where they lock the doors all right there's no sunlight and we suffered what did oh okay because it's dark <laughs> yeah Sorry to hear that that yeah. sounds terrible actually yeah all right okay if uh regarding my first job i was actually a say so coach uh, fa certified uh skills coach for football basically mm -hmm. um i did that for around two years two years and a half where i'd coach little kids football skills nice uh, we play obviously there'd be football matches i taught or i coached both uh little girls and little boys um even though my little girl teams were always a little bit better so oh, yeah. yeah to be honest that's yeah. interesting by the yeah. way uh our issue and i get to who i can issue all the struggle to i'm still to be sure to sell out وكنا بندخل الكروت في مكان عشان يقرأهم ما كانت تجربة حلوة لأنه كنا بندخل على مكان زي هنجر وما كان فيه شمس فلما بنطلع كنا نعمل زي هيك بصيبك صداع من هون 
هو بيشتغل هو سيرتيفايد فوتبول كوتش اف اي سيرتيفايد بالضبط يعني مدرب كره قدم محترف مؤهل يعني عنده مؤهل سيرتيفيكيت وبدرس كان يدرب اطفال بنات واولاد والبنات كان اشطر دائما اه يا تو اكستنت So this one is interesting. Mm-hmm. If you could travel back in time, mm-hmm. where would you go and why? I will tell you. If I have this chance, I would go back to 2006. I think it's just travel back in time, generally speaking, not only your life. I think that's what the question is. What so ancient Rome. No. Would you be, no. Where would you go? I would never go there. <laughs> where would you go? I don't know. Maybe before history. <laughs> before history, nothing in mind. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, I haven't thought about this one to be honest, um, but I think I would go probably. Let's see, um, probably back, not that far actually. Probably 80s, 70s. Really? Yeah, 1970s, 1980s. No internet, 1980s. no mobile phones. Yeah, it's just because you know there were opportunities. Um, there were, you know, you could really build yourself. It was a bit more Me easy. Me, Tupac. Back then. Tupac was. Like a little kid back then. Yeah. yeah. He died in the 90s. Yeah, 1994. Yeah, 1994. Even though we're both Tupac fans. Yeah. But yeah, I would travel to the 80s, 70s, maybe early 90s, try to be 40 in the 90s. Uh, I'd probably live in certain places. I felt like things were really uh, booming, basically. Yes. Um, there was opportunity all over the place if you're educated. Even if you weren't educated, you could build yourself up um, without having a college degree. So I, it just about... The matter of fact, it's just pure economics for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? How should I translate this? I can translate it. لا, let me try. All right, go ahead. أول إشي هو سألني لو بترجع بالوقت لوين بترجع حكيت له برجع على 2006 بعدين حكى لي إنه لا يعني قديم على التاريخ القديم فحكيت له برجع قبل التاريخ ما بعرف ليش كانت إجابة هبلة واعتباطية يعني مش أصلها أنا. وهو حكى انه برجع على فترات معينه في السبعينات او في التسعينات او في الثمانينات أه بروح على اماكن فيها فرص كثير احسن and i'd be 40 or 30 oh you can choose yeah i can choose my age you didn't tell me that yeah i choose my age <laughs> 30s i'd be in my 30s so prime of my career path but you would have been dead now oh, that's fine really yeah I mean, you live once, right? You want to live in a good period of time. Actually, I'm fine here. Like, in this okay. Moment. All right. Why not? I would. I would. خلاص. I'd be 70, so I'd be close to dying. So. كان هلا أنا بحكي لك. 70 or 80. يلا حجي. I'd be retired. I'd barely be able to move. All right. That was a bit tasteless, wasn't it? All right. So okay, that's it for today's episode. Yes. Uh, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we also do have conversation classes if you do want to come that we prepare for before. Yes. And we hold them every Saturday. I'll tell you what we're doing. We're doing something called English Conversation Club in Amman, in the city of Abdoun. Every Saturday, the third time, from 5 to 7. Of course, we have plans and we started with them. We're going to do it other day on the Saturday, a story in the week, and a story online. And there's also a movie night, but we're still not doing it. مشاركتكم معنا تشير هذا الفيديو مفيد كتير peace peace out that's cool bro <تصفيق>